After over a year of silence, Kevin Spacey has made an official response to his accusations, and it was a Christmas surprise that no one expected. Conclusions can be so deceiving. Miss me? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Just when you thought you'd seen the last of President Frank Underwood, he goes and pulls a typical Frank move, breaking the fourth wall and doing something like this. I know what you want. Oh sure, they may have tried to separate us, but what we have is too strong, it's too powerful. I mean, after all, we shared everything, you and I. Obviously, he's not entirely in character, though. Switching back and forth between vaguely referring to the events of the show and also the accusations that have kept him in media darkness for 14 months. However, back at the end of 2017, Spacey's brother Randall Fowler made a statement saying, His fans love the sinister characters he plays, but he's not acting. That's really him. He hid behind his acting career to maintain a secret, sordid life, and in reality, he was a monster. So who knows, maybe there's not too much difference between Spacey and Underwood after all. Aside from putting on his sentinel ring, he does use Frank's South Carolina accent, which is obvious straight away. So we're not done, no matter what anyone says. And besides, I know what you want. You want me back. Since his questionable statement at the end of 2017, Spacey has not posted a single thing on any of his social medias. And as bizarre as this video response is, I was at least glad to see his take on the final season of House of Cards all but discrediting the events of the sixth season. And as I've had more time to think back and reflect on that season, I'm more ready to believe that it's not, as they say, canon. Anyway, all this presumption made for such an unsatisfying ending. And to think it could have been such a memorable send-off. What surprised me most, though, was the general reaction to this video. At the time of filming this, the video has almost three times the amount of likes as dislikes, with almost nine million views in a week, which is more than the House of Cards trailers ever got. The general consensus of the comments is firstly shock, but then appreciation for Spacey as an actor, despite the horrible accusations he's facing, which I totally agree with. But of course, some people are upset, which even he expected. Well, of course, they're gonna say I'm being disrespectful, not playing by the rules, like I ever played by anyone's rules before. My opinion on all this, I see what he was trying to do, but similar to the accusations that surrounded him and Anthony Rapp, he was trying to distract the media with him coming out as gay, and doing this sort of thing never will go as smoothly as I think he thinks. This video came out as if to shape the narrative, as moments after this was posted, it was announced that he is getting officially charged for allegedly shoving his hands down an 18-year-old's pants in a resort in Nantucket, back in July of 2016, and apparently there's even proof of the events posted on Snapchat. The Academy Award-winning actor is due to face court on January 7th, so watch this space. But it sounds like he's sticking to his guns as just today him and his lawyers announced that he's pleading not guilty and has even requested to not show up in court as it would, quote, amplify the negative publicity already generated in connection with the case. I can promise you this. If I didn't pay the price for the things we both know I did do, I'm certainly not going to pay the price for the things I didn't do. It sure makes you think how the shamed actors from the Me Too movement should respond to all of their accusations, and even if they should respond at all. Actress Judi Dench recently spoke on the matter, asking the question, should we scratch Spacey from entertainment history just because of some terrible things he's done in the past? And it's a good question, but what do you think? What was your reaction to this highly irregular video response? And do you miss him? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments, and I'll be keeping you updated with any events surrounding the charges, so stay tuned for that. But until next time, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.